Okay, kids, we're going to talk about the second part of pH and pOH, and that is putting the power of hydroxide together with the power of hydronium. pOH stands for the power of hydroxide, and the two are linked by the number 14. If you have a pH of 10, your pOH has to be 4 because they will always equal 14. If for some reason you have a pH of 7, your pOH has to be 7. All of the formulas for pOH are the same as the formulas for pH. The exception is, is instead of hydronium, we're talking about hydroxide. So finding the power of hydroxide, you take the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide. And if you're finding the hydroxide concentration, you take the inverse log of pOH. That leads us to the circle of life. The circle of life is a good way to try to remember how all of these different formulas interact. Those of you moving on to chemistry 30, you have to memorize all of these formulas. You're not given these formulas on quizzes, tests, or the diploma. So here's what the circle of life looks like. And after I'm done talking, you should pause this video and sketch this out yourself for notes. The top of the circle has pH and pOH. And they are ruled by 14. So this is just like a quick way to remind yourself that when you're going from pH to pOH, together they have to equal 14. Now you can go from pH down to hydronium ion concentration by taking the inverse log of pH. You can also go up to pH by taking the negative log of hydronium. So we've covered that before the break. That's, that's the one side. You take the inverse log of the, the pH to get hyd uh, hydronium. Now, going the other way for pOH, it's the same thing. That goes down to hydroxide. And the formula for that is the inverse log of pOH. And you can go back up again. And going back up again is the negative log of hydroxide. So this is the circle. It's an incomplete circle, though, because this bottom part here, going back and forth, that's left to chemistry 30. So you can consider that like the dark area that's, that Mufasa doesn't want to talk to Simba about. That's where the hyenas live. So on the toughest problems that you'll get, you may have to convert H3O concentration into OH concentration, and that will require three calculations. H3O to pH, pH to pOH, and pOH, whoops, drop that, and pOH to pH. pOH to OH, sorry, I dropped the pen, okay? All right, now I'm just gonna skip ahead to some uh, hydronium ion concentration questions. Here we go. Um, so that's hydronium, I need hydroxide. Here we go, yeah, here's a good one. What's the hydronium ion concentration if the hydroxide ion concentration is 3.41 times 10 to the minus seven? Okay, so we have, this is hydroxide. Now, if we sketch out a quick circle of life, we go hydroxide, pOH, pH, H3O. The Chem 30s actually sketch this out when they're doing problems like this. So we have to go from OH to pOH in the first step. So that's the first step. And to do that, we take the negative log of this value Okay, negative log of that is negative log 3.41 to the minus 7. And that gives me 
seven dot 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 dot. Okay, so I've done the first step. This is 6.467, okay? Now I have to convert that to pH. So in the second step, I'm going to go 14 minus 6.467 dot dot dot. The dot 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 is the unrounded answer. Okay, do that on my calculator. I get 7.5327 dot dot dot. Okay, so now I've got the pH. 7.5327 dot dot dot. The third step is now we have to cal calculate the H throughout. And that's the inverse log of pH. That's the formula. So the inverse log of this value, I go on my calculator, negative 753, like second function log. That's the inverse log, right? So second function log, negative 7.5327. And that gets me 2 decimal. 9, 3, dot, 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 times 10 to the minus 8 moles per liter. Okay. And I think that's actually my answer because we have to round this to three digits. Three digits. Okay. So this is one of the tougher problems where we have to use all three formulas. Okay. Let's try a little bit easier one. This says the hydronium ion constant, what's the hydronium concentration if the pH is 10.33? Okay, so let's write out our circle of life. We have pH, and then we have hydronium. Ah, so this is only a one-step question. So going from pH to H3O, if we go back to our circle of life, what's that? pH to H3O, pH to H3O, here it is right here. That's the inverse log of pH. Okay, so... One step. Inverse log of pH is equal to H3O concentration. Inverse log of 10.33. Okay. Second function log, negative 10.33. Whoa, I forgot the decimal. 10.33, close brackets. Okay. I get 4 decimal 677 dot 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 times 10 to the minus 11. Okay moles per liter. Now, what's my sig figs here? Because this is pH, remember, we only count the digits after the decimal. And because this is concentration, we count the digits before the decimal. It's a little confusing and frustrating, I know. So rounding this to proper sig figs is 4.7 times 10 to the minus 11 whoop, moles per liter. So it would be 4, 4, 7, uh, one, one to go with this, right? Nah, who cares? All right, so that's kind of the end of the calculations bit. Now, I'm just going to leave you with a shortcut that's really cool. If you have the start of a concentration being 1 or even 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7 moles per liter, as long as the first number is 1, the pH is the power. It's super cool that way. So if you had 1.0 times 10 to the negative 4, as long as the concentration is 1 times something, the pH is the power. It's a, it's a cool little trick. And it also works the same way for pOH too. All right, that's the end of this lesson.